channel and welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, I feel like I need to say Merry Christmas because we are starting Christmas decorating. We're gonna be decorating the house for Christmas. It's that time of year again. Clearly, they're excited over in the next room. I have my festive Christmas. I'm claiming this is like Christmas, like a Christmas sweatshirt. I don't know if it is. It's holiday, it's festive. I'm excited. We're gonna be decorating the house in today's video. I'm not gonna make this intro too long. You already know what it is. Every single season I do these decorate with me videos and I'm hyped for this one. Last year I feel like we didn't have as much furniture obviously as what we have now so there's a lot more areas to decorate. I have a ton of decor, even more decor from that last video that I filmed. You guys, I went crazy. I went to Hobby Lobby which I haven't been to in years. Follow me on Instagram. You already knew that. I did a Hobby Lobby must-haves uh, TikTok. Well, it's a real. A real on Instagram and I've been doing like a lot of home stuff over there. So if you want more home content for me, definitely go over to Instagram. I've been going ham on the gram with home content, so definitely go over there. But in today's video, like I said, we're decorating for Christmas. We're getting in the holiday spirit. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, if you wanna hang out with us today, see how we decorate, get some inspo. <laughs> Sir, here come the elves, little elves. Little elves, little elves. What are y'all doing? And we've got Papa Elf over here. <laughs> Okay, if you wanna hang out with us, then please just keep on watching. But before we get into today's video, I wanna thank our sponsor, BetterHelp. You guys, BetterHelp is amazing because it is professional therapy done online. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-care, it's literally therapy that you can do online. I know many of us, myself included, you can think of something that's interfering with your happiness or maybe achieving your goals. I know personally for me, I suffer from a lot of anxiety, stress, feeling overwhelmed, and BetterHelp is there for me. It's amazing because when you sign up for BetterHelp, you will be matched with a professional licensed therapist that'll be perfect for you and your needs. And you can start communicating with them within 48 hours. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's over 20,000 therapist network, which might not be available to you in your local area. And the best part is that the service is available worldwide. And you guys, it's so easy. You can just log into your account anytime, message your therapist, and you'll get timely and well thought out responses to whatever is going on personally in your life. Which is great because you won't have to sit down in uncomfortable waiting rooms to speak to your therapist. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change therapists if need be. Another great aspect about BetterHelp is that it is more affordable than traditional therapy and financial aid is available. So of course they gave me a special offer for you all. It's 10% off. All you have to do is log into BetterHelp, that's H-E-L-P dot com slash Kara, C-A-R-A. BetterHelp and I, I do too. I care about you all. I want you to live the best life that you can today. There's honestly no time like the present to put your mental health first. It is so, so very important. So I will have all the information linked down below. You can check them out. Again, it's better, H-E-L-P slash Kara, C -A -R -A. A R A, and you can save 10%. So yeah, you guys, definitely check them out, like I said. And now, if you are interested to see how we decorate the house, how we go a little Christmas crazy, then please just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so first things first, we're gonna put together our tree, because the babies have been begging, pretty much. So, we're putting the tree up, let's do this. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I just finished up the tree. Rob kind of started it off, and then I was spreading out the branches, watching Hallmark, and I wanted to show you basically what the tree is looking like. I feel like I could have gone with a taller tree, but you know, I mean, it is what it is. Maybe next year, it's fine. I'm not gonna be that picky. Now, it's time to unbox all of that. Okay, guys, so I pretty much know what this is. I mean, I, I know what I, why does my leg look broke? <laughs> like, literally, I'm looking in the viewfinder. It looks like I have a broken leg. Like thumbnail, I broke my leg. Let me not even put that out there. But anyway, let's ooh, unbox what we got. Like, is it even a video of mine if I don't include a haul? It's standard practice around here. Okay, I ordered like a couple more of these trees. I also showed these in the shop with me. More of these ornaments. These are the bigger ones. Remember in that video, I showed you the small ones. I'm actually shook that this is not broken. Like, how is this not broken? Anyway, really, really cute ornament and so nice. I had to buy it twice more of these ornaments, 
more ornaments. I am going to unbox all of this and then I'll be back because this is a lot of ornaments. Okay, that took a lot longer than expected, but basically everything that was in the box was ornaments, you guys. A ton of these ornaments that look like this, but you guys, my favorite ornament of the year are these. I don't know if you can tell, let me hold it up kind of against this white background. It's basically like a painted, what are they calling this? Oh, tie-dye. They're calling this a tie-dye ornament, which to me it doesn't really look like tie-dye. I would think this is more of like a tie-dye vibe, but either way, it's so beautiful, you guys. Like, I love it. It's like a smoked ornament with like dark gray and black paint splotches. This is my favorite. This is just so pretty. I love it. So I also got a pack of ornaments like this, kind of like the long icicle ones. And yeah, you guys, just like more ornaments that I showed before. So let's get decorating the tree. I'm so excited. Okay, you guys, the tree is pretty much done. We just gotta put the star on. The boys are gonna put the star on. And then we're gonna light it. Christmas tree 2021. Yeah! <laughs> okay, here we go. I can't reach. You can't reach? Wow. Tippy toes, dad, dad. Oh, Lord. Uh, Wait, hold. is that the star we want? Hold on, that's not the star even. I'm not paying attention. RG, that's not the star we're putting up, baby. Hold on. We gotta get the other star. Hold Okay, we got the right star this time. <laughs> okay. Here we go, round two. Okay, oh, she crooked, but she's on. She's not really in front of that branch. That branch needs to go behind. No! There's so many. The star needs to go in front of that branch. Oh. Yeah, maybe turn it around. <laughs> RG, hold on, baby. Position is correct. Oh, okay. That looks good. Okay. I think that looks good. Right. I mean. <laughs> She looks like she's floating. <laughs> the star looks like it's floating, literally. Like, this looks like some sort of magic trick. <laughs> Let's get a countdown going in three, two, one. Yeah! Ah, it looks awesome. What do you think, RG? It looks great. It looks great. Briella, what do you think? Yeah! Here she goes. Wow. It looks so good. I'm so happy oh, with you. it. Thank you, Rob. Okay, you guys, so this is what it looks like when you go Christmas crazy. I have so many new things. I went to Hobby Lobby, went Christmas crazy. I went to Target, went Christmas crazy. <laughs> I went online, went Christmas crazy. So we have a lot of things to sort of go through, figure out where we're gonna put a lot of this stuff. I mean, all of it, like we're, we're decorating today. The plan is to get it all done today. I'm actually home alone, which is so exciting. All my moms, I know you can relate. Rob is at work, he had to go into the office today, which rarely happens. Today is Wednesday, so my mom is keeping Briella. She keeps Briella Wednesdays and Fridays for us, and RG is at school. So I'm home alone, and I'm about to put on like some Christmas music, start decorating. I'm hyped. Last year I thought about how things can Okay, so I literally just hung the reef right there. I normally put this one outside, obviously, but I feel like it looks really pretty there. So I think I'm gonna keep it there. I think that looks really nice. I feel like this is a really good place to start. I have some things that are new over here, mainly from Hobby Lobby. I figured we could do a really fun DIY. This looks like a lot, I know, but I'm telling you, once I start spreading this out throughout my house, it's not gonna look this intense. I'll probably 
probably end up, I know this sounds crazy, but I'll probably end up going back and getting like a couple more things. I might need to get like a couple more like little houses like this to set up like a little village. I don't know you guys, like it looks like a lot like I said and I still have more decor in here. Anyway, we've got a lot of stuff. I feel like this is a good start, so let's get decorating. Every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. My favorite holiday, it means so much more than words can say. And I claim Christmas is a magic day. Sometimes I tend to forget what glory this holiday represents. But it's fair to say that Christmas is a magic day. This year I'll think about how I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on my way. Christmas decor update. I completely rearranged this because I just was not feeling it. Like I tried to do something different with the pompous grass. Wasn't really giving what I wanted it to give. So instead I just put these nutcrackers here. This is a DIY. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw the DIY. What I did with these nutcrackers. Super easy, you guys. It's from Hobby Lobby. They just come wooden like this and I spray painted it white. Very simple. I also spray painted some of them black, which turned out awesome too. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Everything over here is pretty much from Hobby Lobby and I think it's really cute. Okay you guys, it is Santa's North Pole up in here today. We got two Christmas trees in the mail. Hey Brie, nice of you to join us. So we've got a Christmas tree in there. That's the playroom tree. Right. Wait, how tall is that? That looks, the box looks really small. And this is my office tree. Yay. So it's a lot more silver than I thought it was this going to be. Playroom. It's not? These are the outside trees. Are you serious? Yep. I'm sorry, Artie. Those are the outside trees. I'm sorry, but CB2, literally, online, I'm gonna put up a picture. Online, it looked champagne. It said champagne. It looked bronze. It looked peach, almost. Mauve, if you will. But here, it looked full-on silver. So, I have a silver tree instead of a white one. I had a white one last year, and now I just went to silver. Um, so we'll see, hopefully, with the lights on it, maybe, I don't know, like, it'll shine differently. It'll still look <laughs> how I want it to look, but we'll see.
because it, I mean, this is not it. This is not it. Whoa, Rob, let go and grab Archie. Oh, I Okay, that's Rob, I don't know if it's supposed to. Okay, you guys, I think it's officially time to do a little house tour, a Christmas house tour reveal. So I'm excited. It's looking great. Let's get into the tour. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to start down in the dining room. I love how this turned out. We have over here our Christmas tree. This was actually the playroom tree last year, and I think it looks awesome. It's very small. She's literally hanging on by a thread. I don't even want to touch her because she's in this planter, and it's just, it's not sticky. Stable. Don't recommend, but it's very, very cute, so I had to do it. I love all the ornaments, very neutral. Um, yeah, super cute. Then over here, I filled the cabinets with these snowflakes, this little white and gold village house. All of this is from Hobby Lobby, and I think it looks so cute. I showed you earlier in the video that I added this wreath to the mirror. More snowflakes over here in this cabinet. Just feel like it's so wintry and cute and festive. And then in the center, I just added some some of these bells. I think I'm gonna go back and get some more because honestly, like if you step back, you can barely see them. So I need more. And I feel like I need like a bigger centerpiece. I don't know, we'll see. Okay you guys, and then moving on to the staircase, I added this garland. There's a belt there, I don't, y'all, I don't know. <laughs> I got this garland. I thought it looks really, really cute on the stairs. I actually have more because I feel like this is a little bit thin. I wanna add like another layer just to make it feel and look fuller. So this is just kind of where we are right now, but if we turn over here. The office, I absolutely love the office tree. I think it looks awesome. I know I said in the box it looked really silvery. It still does a little bit. It depends on how the light hits it. Honestly, when the lights are on, it looks way more champagne, mauve -y. I think it's beautiful either way. I love the black and white ornaments. It just pops. It's everything. I love this tree so much. And then over in the office, I just added this little flower pick over here. Kept it really, really simple. And then if we come into the living room. This is really where a lot of the decor went to use. I added bows on the sconces. We've got a tree over here. I got this bowl that I thought would look really, really cute in the center. Not necessarily Christmas, but I just really liked it. And this is our tree. You guys, I am so happy with our tree. It looks like this. Lots of different like pattern ornaments. I love these like deer print ones. All of the ornaments on this tree are from CB2. I'll link as much as I can, but I love it. I love like this shape ornament. Like I feel like everything really complements each other. And yeah, I'm just obsessed with all the different ornaments on here. I thought about adding a ribbon, but I just feel like this tree like has enough going on. And then our star at the top. I just think it's really cute. So then moving on to our mantle over here, I just have this Mary sign. This is a Walmart purchase. Surprise, surprise. This pompous grass garland is literally everything. When I first got this, if you follow me on Instagram, I was kind of on the fence but I love it now. I think it looks beautiful. Everything kind of came together wonderfully and it looks very neutral, gold. It's just so aesthetic. Like this mantle, it's just everything. I love the fireplace. I added two lanterns at the bottom. Those are from Walmart as well. And then if we move over to the couch, I have our green pillows over here. They look pretty much black on camera, but I swear they're like a really dark green. These Christmas pillows over here. I added a little Christmas tree down there because because the way my kids are set up, this is really all they could handle. And then over on this entryway table, a home update is coming soon. I'm gonna talk about all of this stuff, but I have my ornament candle here, which I think is just so, so cute. I feel like it fits the space perfectly. I've got these little decorative beads over here. And you guys, I'm sorry, but this breakfast nook, I'm obsessed with the bow on top of the light fixture. It looks like a little ornament. It's so cute to me. The bow is from Walmart and I put in these pine cones right here that I think are super cute. This spray painted nutcracker. I didn't really do the best job spray painting, but we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> and then I put the CB2 tree right here. Super cute. And then if you come over here in the kitchen, I just added some Christmas trees over here. I have our mixer out just because this screams holiday Christmas season. I added the little village houses and a white Christmas tree up top. I have our cutting boards out because I don't 
don't, this is just really festive. Tree cutting board is from Hobby Lobby. And then I have more of the little village white, uh, white houses, white Christmas tree, more Christmas trees over there. I have a little cocoa station <laughs> over this way with this like lazy Susan. I got this from Hobby Lobby. And I have some mugs, a tree, super cute. Okay, so we are clearly in Archie's room. I really didn't add too much, just these like sparkly, twinkly lights, which I think are so cute. He loves them. I added this little countdown to Christmas sign over here, a little Christmas tree, and a black nutcracker. I just wanted to keep it simple. I didn't want to go crazy. And then we just added one Christmas pillow, just says Santa, please stop here. Okay, and if we come into Briella's room, I did the same like twinkly lights over here for her. I think it's so, so cute. Added a couple little Christmas trees, some um, pine cones, and a pompous grass Christmas tree. I will link this down below. I think it's just so, so cute. I could add ornaments, but I don't know. I kind of like it as is. This is just so girly. It's like, it's Christmas, but it's not too much. It's just super cute. This just makes me excited. The lights are like making me crazy. Okay, and then when you come into our room, this is what the decorations are looking like. We'll start over here. These branches from Target, you guys, like this looks so good. I'll link it down below. They look way more expensive than what they were. I added two Christmas trees over here. The way my kids are set up, they're like moving things all around. It's totally fine. It is what it is. It's the general idea. Then if you come over here on our bed, I just had this little snowflake pillow, which I thought was so cute. Hold on. Let's tuck that tag. I thought that was just so cute. A nice little touch. Again, like a little kiss of Christmas. Nothing too crazy. I have a couple little Christmas trees over here as well as on my side of the bed. I have Christmas trees as well. Just like a cute little pop of the holiday season. But when you come over to the dresser over here, we have Jingle Bell Garland and then a little Christmas tree and some, what is that, holly? That's holly, right? Little flower picks in the corner. I thought it was just so, so cute. And then if you come over here in the glam room area, I have some Christmas trees over here that I thought were just adorable. Okay, you guys, and last but not least is the playroom. I love the playroom so much. I feel like it looks so cozy. I'm obsessed. We have these wreaths on the door, which I think is a really, really nice touch. But over here, the star of the show is this Christmas tree. And I think it just looks really, really good. You saw the kids and I and Rob were just putting on the different ornaments. They're really fun, very playroom appropriate with the different animals and dinosaurs. And I think it just looks really, really cute. Then over here, we have some Christmas pillows, one of which is upside down. Hold, please. Okay, so we've just got some fun Christmas pillows in here, which I thought were really, really cute. And then over here on this like bookcase toy storage thing, we have our nutcrackers that I DIY'd, snowflake, a little Christmas tree, a remote control because that's essential, and a snow globe and some garland. I just think this is really cute. Okay, you guys, that is pretty much it. That's everything. That is my 2021 Christmas Decorate With Me video. I really hope this gave you some inspiration. Let me know if you guys like this. Let me know if you are feeling the decor. I unintentionally became one of those after Thanksgiving Christmas decorators, which I never was, but it just took me so long to decorate. It took me literally like all month. I'm so happy to be done. Now I can just like sit back, relax, enjoy it. Hopefully you all were able to sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload. And we, all of my Christmas decor, we will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.